had uh, something to say on Twitter. He sent a very positive message. Obviously, he was very excited about going to this place called Polokwane up in the Limpopo province. And I think uh, many people sometimes have this misconception, don't quite understand what to expect when you get to Polokwane. Um, and, and so he tweeted that uh, he's looking forward to a great week of golf in the bush. Uh, so I hope uh, many of you coming here uh, are not expecting to see the bush, expecting to see lions roaming around uh, and all sorts of animals. We believe that it's going to uh, make Purugwani a wonderful place to be. In fact, the focus of, of rugby, the focus of the country this week is going to be in Polokwane. Of course, uh, Wimbledon has just ended, and so everybody is probably now going to have enough time and effort to focus on rugby. And what greater uh, event than the Craven Week? Uh, we all know how much this means to rugby. This is uh, very exciting, and I think we're also very privileged that for the first time in 50 years uh, we have it here in Polokwane. But also to have both uh, age groups here is also very good uh, and quite exciting to us as the people of Polokwane because we always try and, and thrive, uh, strive to, to bring some of the best events. And, and this year, um, definitely. The Craven Week is one of the highlights of the sporting calendar of this particular province of ours and the city of Uruguay. Uh, we, we know that uh, it's going to be a lot of competition, very competitive, uh, and we know all the different regions have brought their best teams. Uh, I was told uh, by the president as we came up, he says, by the end of this week, he's going to be as happy as he is today. I don't know what he meant by that, uh, whether it has anything to do about the rugby and the outcomes at the end of the week, because I do believe he had quite an exciting weekend. Uh, I believe yesterday was uh, a quite a great culmination uh, for anybody whose blood is blue. Uh, so, so we hope that all of you are going to enjoy your stay in Uruguay. We are people who are very warm. Uh, of course, Uruguay um, is not the best uh, city in the country. Uruguay does not have the best facilities that you have in the country. Uruguay does not necessarily have uh, the best malls and the best restaurants in the country. But we have safety, we have a caring community, we have people who will make you feel welcome, we have a climate that is going to be absolutely fabulous, I think you'll enjoy the weather while you are out here, uh, so there won't be any excuse for lack of performance, and there won't be any excuse to blame the other team if they want to say it was perhaps too slippery, or whatever the case may be, maybe it was too cold, it's going to be fine weather this time of the year, and we look forward to all of you being here. I want to take this opportunity to thank the Blue Bulls because it is through them and our partnership with them that we have the opportunity to host this. We have engaged them um, a while ago, and our partnership just keeps growing and keeps delivering and bringing more and more exciting things. Thank you, Mr. Nell, uh, the President, for the relationship that we have and for us working together. I know we are not going to rest and until we have the Springboks play here, um, an official game probably in, in the near future, but we are not sitting and waiting for the biggest of them all. We are working together and building together to make um, this partnership of ours deliver results. And those young youngsters who are going to display their ability Coaches are here, the officials are here, the team leaders are here, you've prepared them, you've worked very hard and we wish you all the best as you compete uh, during this week uh, of exciting rugby out here. We look forward to seeing some of the future Springboks 
being on display here, some of the best uh, athletes uh, being seen here, and one day when our local people see them on TV, they will remember that they have uh, been here in Burukwani. That is the power of this type of events. That is the excitement that it brings. It, it gives our children and our locals an opportunity to also see some of the future stars in display. So we wish all of you the best. We thank all of you, Saru as well, for making this possible and for giving us the big one. Uh, you know, the 49th one would have been good, but the 50th one sounds so much better. Uh, and, and I think we are really honored and privileged to have this one to come here to us. So as the organizers, as the local organizing team, the officials from the municipality, the department who is here, tourism uh, who are so well led by the cha chairman uh, who seems to be very keen on, on, on helping us uh, to profile our province and to bring big events into our city. This is a big thing for all of us. Let us embrace it, let us make it work, let us encourage the young people and the parents to go and support these athletes who have prepared so hard to come and compete here and make the best team win and I look forward to an exciting game. Thank you very much on behalf of the people of Bulubane. We really appreciate your coming and we hope that you're going to have a magnificent week um, of great excitement and long after the event has drawn to a close, we trust that you will remember the experience, you will remember the people, you will remember Bulubane and that you will come back because this is a warm place both literally and figuratively, and the warm you will not ignore, you can't miss it uh, when you interact with the people. Thank you very much, it's a privilege to have you here. We hope you enjoy the evening, and we hope you have a safe week of great fun. Thank you very much.